All right, guys, so this is going to be the second take of this. Uh, I did four and a half minutes earlier of this video and got in, published it and everything. Found out the audio was choppy. Um, not sure what was going on with the mic on that one. Uh, but this is just going to be a follow-up video to my uh, solar system that I did in here about a year ago. Um, I also did a video about my Ryobi system that I use uh, to maintain my yard. That includes my... Uh, lawnmower 16 inch cut uh, my weed eater uh, which takes no fuel no oil um, so I mean all you got to do is just either buy a new wire uh, and then also grind down the blade or replace the blade whenever time comes uh, but other than that there's no maintenance um, nothing to do to uh, continue to cost money once you do that initial investment um, so the third piece of that is my Ryobi chainsaw. Um, obviously, chainsaws do need bar oil. There is no getting around that. So, other than you know it, it taking one of these 40 volt batteries, um, just get some bar oil, just like any other chainsaw, and you're pretty much well set. Uh, but right now, um, and I already took half the stuff in that I was done charging. Uh, but right now, like I said, I've got the Ryobi 40 volt battery system charging from mowing my yard for the first time this year. We finally got temperatures that were enough to be outside and actually mow. Um, so, got that done today. Went through a couple batteries. Um, as you can tell, it's charging. Right now, uh, I am going straight off my outlets that I actually wired in. Uh, you can see the cover switch is lit up. That's what turns on all of these outlets, all of the 110s. Uh, and then, as mentioned in the other videos, I do have those 12 volts. Um, and those come in handy for, you know, if you don't need to go crazy and plug in something huge, which I, I even do these 40 volt systems off of just something like this. This is an Energizer 100 watt inverter. Uh, and then this is a Best Tech uh, that I've had for several years, and it's 150. Um, but you can pick up small inverters like that, around 20 bucks a piece. You can use those in your car. Uh, if, you, you know, if you've got an older vehicle that does not have a built-in inverter uh, that can give you 110, you know, if you do want to charge your stuff going on the road. Um, but I also have my Lenovo Yoga 720 in here charging. That's plugged in 110 as well. Um, I'll get in here and we'll take a look at the solar system. And it's obviously depleted quite a bit since I have filled up I think three batteries uh, and the sun the sun has about set um, but we'll watch that and it'll funnel through its different screens but it just goes in here to that Cobra inverter and then that's what wires up and that's like the noco genius that keeps the batteries trickle charged and then that goes to the fuse block that i've got everything um pretty much well documented as to what wire goes to what what fuse goes where um but i just thought i'd do a follow-up video uh there's been a lot of questions that i've received uh, about how my solar's still working out uh, it's pretty simple to do these kinds of setups. Uh, we've talked about buying a piece of property uh, just for something on the weekends and vacations. Um, and then doing something kind of like one of the large um, like Home Depot sheds. Uh, it's like the two-story and converting it to a cabin like you see a lot of people doing. And I've watched videos of people doing stuff like this. Uh, obviously I haven't finished my electrical up here. This is for my lights that I haven't done yet. Uh, but I mean, this is just speaker wire. It's positive and negative. It's pretty easy to tell on both sides what's what. Uh, but you do that and do it to one of these 12 volt ports. Plug in, like I said, one of these little small inverters. And then you've got power. Anywhere where you've wired up for the 12 volt, you're done. That, that, that gets you power to what you need. Uh, a lot of people on these smaller uh, shed to homes, campers, RVs, stuff like that, you know, they, they can run solar. Uh, you can still have the same amenities as home. Like you can do 
a rechargeable vacuum uh, that you can plug in 110 and recharge it and then you know run it just like normal and it's not sucking too many amps like a normal house vacuum uh, that's where just normal home vacuums kill you is the amperage on them but anyways I'll link um, all these items in here just to kind of give you a follow-up like I said uh, but that Cobra, Cobra switch I mean once you hit the button you can hear it beep watch that it's dead laptop no longer charging pick it back on it's like laptops fully charged and then the battery packs are back to charging back up but if you guys have got any questions concerns comments please let me know i'll be happy to answer them thanks guys